Hello and welcome to an unboxing from VJ Books. The box seems to have survived, even though it's packed full of books. So it makes me nervous at how much actual extra packing material is in it. But let's find out! This is a uh, Josh Mallerman Mega Unboxing. Well, one of the titles is rather small, but there are four titles? Uh, I believe I ordered four. Yeah, four. According to my packing slip that I'm peeking at. Ah, it's held in place by some tape. And then it's got some bubble wrap, so these, these should be fine. I can tell one's got a remainder mark, but I think I remember seeing that on the description. That's why I was on clearance, if I recall. At least I seem to recall it being on clearance. But at the same time, uh, Mallerman, a uh, VJ Books, sells a lot of first editions and a lot of signed books. And they have like a author of the month. I believe it was of the month. And back when Goblin, the trade edition of Goblin, was announced, several, does it say on my order slip as I stare longingly at it? Uh, apparently January. Back in January, I think he was the author of the month, so the titles were on sale to begin with. But I think some of them were kind of on clearance as well. Maybe. I hope so, because the one, like I said, the one's got a remainder mark. But anyways, this is the Josh Mallerman Mega Unboxing, featuring four signed Josh Mallerman titles. Uh, because I'm playing catch-up. So first up is his paperback copy of A House at the Bottom of the Lake. I say paperback, but they're all paperbacks. This is the thicker paperback copy, the trade paperback copy. Uh, the original publication was a much thinner paperback from the Nightworms box. I don't have that one. But uh, I've seen it on some bookshelves, and it's a much thinner tome. So... I know uh, Josh, Josh, first name basis, uh, Josh Mallerman was talking about uh, the inspiration for this on how, oh, well, there we go. This book is signed by the author about how him and his, uh, his lady friend were uh, kind of going out on the Upper Peninsula up in Michigan. Michigan? He's in Michigan, right? Yeah, Upper Peninsula, because it's got like the mitt, the oven mitt. Uh, and he was terrified by the thought of a house, of people living down at the bottom of this lake, which was the inspiration for this house at the bottom of the lake. Of a lake, not the lake. Because there's lots of lakes. You can pick whatever lake you want. Uh, but I have not read this one. I did not, like I said, snag the Nightworms edition. So uh, this is my chance of picking up a copy, which I am all for. So I'm going to dive into that. Uh, the new one, which ironically is actually one of the oldest ones of the titles here, but newest in trade edition, is Goblin, a novel in six novellas. And uh, I should note that they have these very nice Mar Mylar jackets already applied to the books from VJ Books, which is awesome. So this, there we go, this book is signed by the author. There is Josh Mallerman's Scribble. Should I say, by the way, Stoker award-winning Josh Mallerman, which is phenomenal and really awesome to say. He won for a short story in another collection. Uh, so this is uh, Goblin. Goblin is the name of the town. Not does not actually feature goblins. And it's told in little uh, novellas. So they're kind of shared novellas within the shared uh, setting of Goblin. I like the phrase Goblin Police there. Uh, this was originally a Halloween title from Earthling Publications. Uh, I do not have that one, but I've heard phenomenal things. It's one of his more, more sought-after books, that edition. And uh, if you want to check it out, you should go check out Jeff Terry's channel, formerly Jeffing Off, now The Jeff Word. Uh, he did an unboxing and review of the, gob the Goblin Arc from Earthling Publications, as well as the Goblin Limited Edition from Earthling Publications, whereas this is the Goblin Trade Edition from Earthling Publications. Speaking of which, I'll show you the boards. Uh, you know, it's going to have a little ding, unfortunately, from just the way it ships. 
Ooh, the corners got a little knock on it too. But uh, it was really cheap. So I don't want to say you get what you pay for, but you know, I wasn't expecting it to be completely pristine, especially since I had purchased four books at once. They kind of serve as their own uh, packaging material against each other. So yeah, uh, like I said, Goblin does not actually feature goblins. It features a town called Goblin, much similar to the town Nilbog from the movie Trolls, which is Goblin spelled backwards, which the movie Troll 2 does not actually feature trolls, but it features goblins and Nilbog, but that's different than this Goblin. Anyways, that's your fun little ramble. Uh, this is a first edition, a remainder marked first edition of Unbury Carol, which was Josh's Western, which let's I can't remember I can't remember the price on this, but I'm pretty sure it was really cheap being a remaindered copy. I'm gonna double check it though. Um, mixed things about this one. A lot of not people not people's favorite. There's a little signature, a little scribble on the cover page. Um, I actually only had this in the ARC. I didn't have the hardcover. So uh, for this being cheap and on sale, I was all over that. And I'm like, you know what? Let's add a signed copy. It's, uh, yeah. Doesn't seem, got a little scuffing there, but you know. A little scuffing in the remainder mark, of course, but it's not, you know, completely destroyed. Uh, like it could have been. So, and the final title in this Mega Mallerman box of joy, after this brief bookmark from VJ Books, there are only so many hours in a day and a whole lot of books. Never stop reading. Just got hold. Just oh, oh my God! Just hold your place till you get back. Very cool. Uh, the final book in the box is Inspection. Another one that I actually only have the arc of. So, uh, also heard mixed things about this one. I know it deals. I never. I have never read this one. I know it deals with a group of twenty-six boys in a tower, uh, identified by letter, uh, who are raised not knowing about girls and women. And then there is another tower beyond the woods where uh, there are twenty-six girls who were not known, who are raised. Not having known of boys or men, or boys to men, the group presumably they don't know about them either. Get your R and B fix, uh, and there's Josh Malaman's uh, scribble again. He underlined it with this one. Either that or that's him trying to do his last name. I'm not sure. But like I said, I have the arc of this one, but I've never actually read it. So I'm all on board. I'll uh, dad D A D is the one that's raising him. Uh, but I'll definitely give it a read. Like I said, it's, it's mostly just cool to add a cheap signed first edition to uh, my Mallerman collection. Not that it's much of a collection. Uh, if you go over to Mallermaniacs, the Facebook group uh, run by Stwe Steven, 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 run by Steven, run by Steven Dwayne Allison Jr. Uh, he'll let you in, hopefully. Uh, they, you can see the collections there. He has a phenomenal collection. He actually just finished his collection of arcs uh, by getting Black Mad Wheel, which is awesome. I don't have that one. I don't have either of that one. I don't have the trade or the arc. Uh, but a lot of arcs out there. A lot of arcs, a lot of titles, a lot of joy. But yeah, uh, so this was VJ Books, you know, kind of look into how they ship things. I don't really buy from VJ too much, but... Uh, you know, it was pretty good. I said a couple things. Uh, you know, a Rain Mark book was pretty cheap. Got Goblin, which is brand new. Uh, so, very cheap package all around. I'll definitely check them out again. Uh, I know uh, some folks have actually done comparison videos. Uh, the Jeff Word, Jeffing Off, uh, actually did a comparison video of Mallory by Josh Mallerman. Where I believe he bought it from, like, Everybody. He bought it from like Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and VJ Books and kind of compared, compared them all together. So be sure to check him out as well. Uh, check out Maller Maniacs over on Facebook and check out other videos on this channel of other various unboxings. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.